Miss Rooster, I'm fixing to go out and do some work. Do you want to help? That's all you seem to do is lay around. Look at you. Okay. I guess that's the one advantage of being a puppy dog. You get to rest and sleep all day. A beautiful day out of here we're gonna get some work done first project of the day I will show you in a second making my way over there now all right I have a lot of projects coming up so I need to get this trailer whipped back into shape and get all this wood off there see what boards need replaced I need to jack it up I need to get these wheels off here and put them on jack stands, take these wheels, get some new tires put on them. These are all dry rotted. I've had this thing about eight years. Right now, I'm going to spray it down. Little WD-40. I'm going to need to check the wheel bearings. I'll probably go ahead and replace them. This is just a homemade trailer. Used to be an old trailer trailer. But when I bought this place, oh, we're missing a whole lug there. So I need to get a new lug. All right. There's another one of my lazies. Look at you. And another project on the list. Get the rest of these rocks picked up. Get this all raked out. And I'll get the two-wheeler and get them big rocks out of here. I'm not picking them up. And that lump. I don't know what I'm going to do with that lump. That's a Libby lump. Well, your nose is healing up. That's good. And I'm going to rake these garden beds out. I'm also going to burn some of that wood over there and make some charcoal. To mix into my garden and my uh, pots in the back. Uh, this one here, I don't know what I'm going to put in here. Peppers did well. I, I think cucumbers may do good here because it gets some good shade. What do you think, Doodle? So that might be my new cucumber bed, but I want to get these all tilled up. Uh, like I said, put some charcoal in. Here in a few weeks, we're going on a earthworm hunt. We're going to put some earthworms in a lot of these beds. Waldo, do you know where any earthworms are? Do you know about any earthworms? He don't care. Uh, too sexy for my shorts. Too sexy for my shorts. More comfortable than them old tight jeans. I gotta get some new jeans.
All right. I was gonna work on that trailer, and then I realized uh, <laughs> them lug nuts are just froze on there. So I'm gonna let them soak a day or two, but what we're gonna do, the very next project is right in here. These two fine specimen of puppy dogs need a shade shelter. And we used to have the fifth wheel right there, and that provided very good shade for them in the summer. Well, it's gone. So I'm gonna build a lean-to style shelter and that is the west right there the sun comes up right it goes down right now it's going to going down about where's my finger right in there but as the summer progresses it'll come down way over there so i'm going to kind of angle it a little this way and i think you know i'm not going to do it too permanent i'm going to pound in the backs with t-posts i've got some long sheets of tin over there uh, leave a little air flow at the top and the fronts I'll probably I don't know we'll just have to see how it goes it's got to be high enough where I can get up under there and feed them when it's raining they need somewhere to get out of the rain and they need somewhere to eat if it's raining otherwise I just come out here and I'll put his bowl there she knows that's her spot don't you but they need a shade shelter yeah, I mean, they'll get in there and lay down and it'll be cool in the summer. What do you think of that, Lily? You're getting chunky. Yeah, I don't know how. You must be stealing some of Waldo's food. Yeah. All right. But, first thing I'm going to do... All right, we are at the back of the cabin. And I'm going to go over with you. I have been doing a whole lot of thinking. And... I know I've said I was going to build on the room here, then I wasn't, then I was, then I wasn't. Well, I got to looking at lumber prices, and my plan was to say hell with all of that for now and build me a shop. Well, that quickly turned into a no-go because of the lumber prices. They're wanting almost $8 now for a 2x4. I ain't doing it. I even looked at buying a possibly 14 by 32 or a 14 by 40 uh, already built shed uh, to possibly make a shop out of. And believe it or not, it's cheaper to go that route. But I don't want to spend that money. It's still crazy prices. So my plans for back here, this is the good slab. This is where the old laundry room was. This is a bad, bad slab. Let me just try to get in on that. Uh, <laughs> and the problem is, I can't get it up without a jackhammer, heavy equipment. It's very unlevel. And what happens when it rains, right in there, all fills in with water. I can probably level that out uh, with a little concrete. But here's the plan so far. And I want to start on this in the next few weeks. This part right here, I am going to make a sunroom. Yep, a sunroom, go sit in. It's going to be mostly screened in, so there won't be a lot of lumber involved. Uh, of course, around the bottom, it'll be probably that T111. I am going to, today, in this video, cut this piece off here, like I did over there. And I need to do that today because it's going to be 80 degrees the next few days. And the wasps, they're going to start coming out. And that's their favorite spot. i got to hit that every year. So, this doesn't have any uh, purpose. It's just basically for decoration. You know, a faux A-frame type thing. It serves no purpose, so I'm going to tear it off. I'll have to unhook my temporary water line. And I need to get probably... You know, you don't put concrete up against wood like that. This place has flooded. When I tore this structure down, that stopped. But I think all that wood needs to be replaced on this back wall. And so I'm going to start prepping this wall for that. Uh, and see where we get. But also, it does me no good to build this with this concrete foundation here. Because as you can see, it's higher. They used to have an old hot tub on here. It's much higher. 
I am making this a greenhouse. It'll have the clear plastic be totally enclosed greenhouse. That way the base don't matter, but it will have a roof over it to keep the water from dripping down in here. I'm too old. I don't have the energy to get a jackhammer and run a jackhammer to chop this thing up. It's got to be at least four or five inches thick. And But it would be a great foundation for a greenhouse. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And that's, uh, I'm probably going to cut, I'm gonna cut, I know I'm going to cut this off here. Be the next thing you see, me up there with a saw. And we're going to get that wall prepped. Uh, this roof over the sun, sun porch will be, this is nine foot high. It will go to eight foot high, have a one foot drop. And then above that, there will be a deck for the loft. And with this gone, I think I can make the deck a lot bigger. And don't know. We'll just have to see. I don't have any written plans. We'll just have to see how it goes. So let me get to chopping this. And I'm going to start putting out a lot more videos of this. Uh, these projects. They, like I said, they're going to begin now. All right, guys. I got the ladder out. I'm going to show you all the proper way to put a ladder. Some of you may know, some of you may not. I learned this in firefighting academy. You put your bottoms, your tops of your toes at the bottom of the ladder. When you can stretch out, your arms straight, and stand up straight, then you have it positioned right. Uh, if it's too steep or too far out, you know, you, you should be able to do this. Hold on to the first rung that you can reach and your arms out straight. That's it. any better so hopefully I get this cut <sighs> I never thought I would wear a mask again this dust is terrible now let's try this again
go to the store tomorrow. All right, guys, everything I tried to do today <laughs> didn't work. I did get the rock smooth, but I got to get a new saw blade for that. It's not even coming close to cutting through there. Uh, that's thicker than it looks. I'll show you when I get it cut off, but I'll get to the store tomorrow. Get a couple of new saw blades. Uh, and we'll probably start on uh, Waldo's and Lily's Shade Shelter. Uh, I got to run to Oklahoma, so I may not get started till late, but I'll be there to record it. Happy trails, folks. Look, you think they're waddles? <laughs> <laughs>